I'm attracted to women that work out and stay in shape. And um, ever since I was a kid, I've been in the gym working out. And so I have to admit, I've actually am quite shallow of a person, which is not a good thing. But I am definitely into being with someone that visually, you know, is, um, looks great. Um, and I would have a problem being with someone who didn't stay in shape and didn't take care of their body. Um, when, you know, the truth of the matter is, is what really matters is what's inside the person because, you know, eventually that outside is gonna wear off, but I haven't learned that lesson yet. So <laughs> I'm still quite shallow. Um, basically, um, I'm not into women necessarily that compete or are into industry. And the reason being is because um, it's just, uh, it's so it's such a selfish sport which I've been there myself and competed and when I competed all that mattered was me and whoever I was with you know it was all about me it was all about my show all about my contest all about helping me get ready for the show and I don't want to be on the other side of that coin and be the one that's helping someone get ready for a show and you know talking about the show 24 hours a day you know it's just consuming uh, you know I'm, I'm dating a um, uh, IFBB Pro Bikini competitor as of right now, and it's the first time I ever dated someone who was in the industry. Um, so, you know, it's, it's uh, but normally I, I don't, I don't, I'm not attracted to those types of girls, just girls that work out and take care of themselves. And also, you know, uh, the personality is very important, you know, to be able to sit and actually have a conversation, which is, for me, is hard to find. You know, I'm, there's basically three kinds of uh, people. There's people that talk about people, people that talk about things and people that talk about ideas. And I'm more about the kind of person that talks about ideas. I'm always brainstorming and trying to come up with, you know, business plans and ways to make money and this and that. And I can't stand to sit and have a conversation about people or about things. You know, it's just a pointless, useless conversation. And from my experience, 80% of the people I talk to, that's all they want to talk about is, you know, gossip and this and that. And, so it's hard to find someone with substance. For me, that's, you know, that's an important thing is actually find someone with substance. My mom was a competitive bodybuilder and um, I was going to the gym when I was like five or six years old, um, just watching, observing, and uh, seeing what was going on. And uh, at the time, the He-Man dolls were out, you know, little He-Man muscle dolls, and I had every one of them, and I loved them. And I would just obsessively just couldn't believe the muscles on these guys. And so, as a kid, when I was uh, brought into the gym with my mom, I actually saw these, these huge guys in person. And I was like, oh my God, like, the dolls are real people, which, you know, I had no idea. I'd never seen a person really look like that. To me, it was just all cartoons and fictional. Uh, and basically, um, I would sit and watch these guys in the gym work out and interact. And You know, I have to say, I did notice that, you know, back in those days, the women did seem to flock towards the bigger guys in the gym. And, you know, as a kid, I happened to notice that. <laughs> so, uh, so I have to say, yeah, I mean, that probably is uh, part of the reason why I got involved in it. But once I became competitive and I really was involved, it had nothing to do with women. It was more um, all for myself, you know, just trying to prove upon myself and be the best that I can be. And um, the truth of the matter is, is, you know, most women, you know, you take as a whole, you know, don't necessarily um, like huge, massive bodybuilders. You know, they're more into the men's physique or, you know, Brad Pitt or, you know, more just a leaner uh, athletic body. So when you get to the stage that I'm at, you know, 280 pounds, 290 pounds, uh, you know, the general public doesn't, isn't really necessarily attracted to that. So it kind of defeats the purpose if you're doing it to get women. You know, you're, that's not going to work. <laughs> you need to be about 200 pounds and be shredded and you're going to have better, uh, you know, better, better possibilities. But um, basically, um, you know, you have the, the people that are into bodybuilding and that are into the sport um, in the industry that basically, you know, obviously like muscles so they're gonna go for the bigger guy and you know the more ripped guy and you know the guy that is doing the best looks the best so you have kind of that group all right Thank you. for sure what's your name Kim, Kim Rich nice to meet you right. how you doing all right let's do that I'm gonna flex over here oh he's over here huh
Uh, the answer to that is yes. I get misjudged all the time. Uh, my size, my mask, my tattoos, you know, people assume I'm this. And the truth of the matter is, let it be known, probably shouldn't be saying this, but the truth of the matter is I'm the opposite of whatever you look and you see, I'm the opposite, you know, that never judge a book by its cover. But I've always seemed to attract the wrong kind of women. And that's because of visually they see me and they assume I'm, you know, this edgy, you know, asshole or, you know, someone who is going to pull their hair and slap them around in the bedroom. And I'm actually the opposite. I'm more of a, you know, affectionate and cuddle and, you know, a good guy, so to speak. And uh, so definitely this physique is, and my tattoos and everything about me definitely attracts the wrong kind of people.